today it's almost impossible to enter a major facility without somebody checking your temperature. However, these people will not be using the thermometers most of us are used to. They use infrared thermometers. They emit infrared rays uh, and they, are fo they focus this infrared rays to the body or any object that you intend to take the temperature. The, that body emits the temperature in form of thermal radiation. This thermal radiation is detected by a, a specific part in this thermometer, which is called a thermopile. So this thermopile converts this thermal radiation into heat and it's able to make the reading. According to Emmanuel Biaruhanga, a medical practitioner, the thermometer's accuracy depends on the strength of the batteries and the environment. It has a button that uh, turns on uh, object and body. So someone, by mistake, if they don't turn this button to body and they leave it in object, it is going to take the temperature of object. So there will be a very big difference. When they do that, uh, and the temperature is more than 34 degrees centigrade, then those ones uh, are ripe enough to be checked for uh, coronavirus. Infrared thermometers are more expensive on the market, and Biaruhanga says they are the only reliable option in the wake of COVID-19 because they permit distance between the person measuring and the one whose temperature is being measured. This is important because they do not allow contact which can lead to the spread of the virus. The reason why uh, these ones are, are used now is to prevent infections because this you can use it from a distance. It may not be the recommended social distance, but there is a distance between the two parties. Now you understand in the fight against COVID-19 the significance of social distancing, which according to the World Health Organization is one meter or 39 inches. And just to demonstrate for you, just between me and my brother here, this is one meter. Um, one, let's, where is it? Here. You see? Now this is one meter. And anything under this, you're risking your life and the life of others. Only if we maintain this, along with the other measures, like washing your hands as many times as possible, coronavirus can be fought out of society. Edward Mhumza, NTV, tonight.